Hi everyone, hope you guys are doing great. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the honest truth about being a full-time musician. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon, and you'll get notified of all the new videos that I'll be putting out. So today is a topic that I've been wanting to talk about for a long time, and it's about being a full-time musician. I've had experience being a full-time musician as well as having a day job and balancing music as well. So I'm going to share with you a bit about both experiences. I think the first thing that we have to define for ourselves is what do you classify as being a full-time musician or being full-time in any artistic or creative industry. For me, when I graduated from university, I started my first full-time job and always at the back of my mind, I was thinking, yes, it was great that I had my day job and I was doing music on the side, but it must be amazing to just focus on music only and make that my full-time career. So over over the four years that I had my day job, I was always struggling and thinking, you know, when would be the best time to leave my day job? And if I wanted to be a serious musician, I had to do it full time. After four years of being in my day job, I took the leap and quit my job and did music full time. So once I left my day job, it was really liberating for a while when I realized that I could wake up at any time, I could work on the things that I wanted to all the time. But during the first few months of being a full-time musician, I started to realize the full picture of what that meant. So for many of you, you might be thinking a full-time musician gets to just play music all day every day, practice and work on their craft. But the reality is if we want to market, brand ourselves, work on original music, actually there are many other facets of the music business that we have to understand and spend a lot of time on. So the first thing that I worked on when I left my day job was my first full length album. This included 10 original songs and I flew to LA to work with a Grammy winning producer called Paul Brown on this album. So my originals were mainly contemporary jazz instrumentals and so I had a great time writing, working on the music. And you know, before I left for LA, I was spending almost every day locked up in my studio, practicing, working on the music. But I think the reality really struck when I came back from LA. So I have the music, but what am I going to do with the music? So that led me down this path of really researching online how to best promote my music, understanding the music business, distribution, radio stations, royalties, and it was a huge learning curve. But I really, really wanted to know all this for myself rather than hand it off to someone to do this music business part for me. So I even decided to take on a bit of photo editing. So I picked up Photoshop and I actually designed my first album cover myself. And throughout the whole process of preparing my album for launch and finally releasing it, I realized that actually the amount of time I spent away from the saxophone was much greater than how much I was spending touching the saxophone. So I think after this experience of releasing my first album, this gave me a clearer picture of what being a full-time musician meant. Balancing my artistic and creative work as well as the music business aspects. The truth is, as I progressed on and I realized that, you know, in order to have longevity in the music business, I needed to find ways of deriving income to be able to fund this creation of music. This was actually a very natural progression for me as I really wanted to make sure that I had a sufficient pool of income coming in to allow me to work on the music that I love. So this led me to start several related businesses like starting a sound system company where I provided AV equipment for live shows and this went on really well and I grew the business uh, quite substantially within the first few years. So another thing that I did a lot of was teaching. So actually the day job that I left was being a full-time teacher in a secondary school. So teaching was already in my blood. So it was a very natural progression to start teaching private lessons on saxophone and piano a lot more. And that eventually formed a huge part of my income. 
And also about three years ago, I joined as a partner in a music shop and that allowed me to get into the music instrument business and taught me a lot as well. So with all these various related music businesses, it allowed me to form a nice nest of income while still not inhibiting me from creating music and performing live. So with all this said, I think it's definitely possible to produce music and perform at a very high level while still having a day job, whether it's music related or not. You know, I know so many great musicians who are lawyers, doctors, and doing so many other types of business, but they still find the time to work on their music. And if you want to do music full time, I think it's also very important that you pick up all the necessary skills to allow you to flourish as a full time musician and not just only practice your instrument. And in subsequent videos, I'm going to be sharing with you more tips and tricks and experiences to allow you to maneuver through the music industry. So this sums up my personal experience as someone who came from having a day job to doing music full time. And now I still see myself as a full time musician, but I incorporate many different related businesses in my portfolio to allow me to keep creating the music that I love. So hope to see you guys at the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, click the like button, and this will really help the YouTube algorithm to get this video out to as many people as possible. So see you guys at the next one.